what is up everybody i'm using the gopro this time gonna see how it's work how it'll work out on the gopro with all the new updates and stuff anyway it's october 5th 2021 big bear lake california it's 2 47 in the morning take a look and see what time it is we're getting some pretty good rain right now a lot more than i anticipated it says 52 degrees but i promise you it's not 52. But it really is coming down pretty good right now. It's really dark out here. We'll drive down all Big Bear Boulevard. I bet we won't see one car. That's gonna be kind of cool. Holy moly, I'm cold. Come on. I'm gonna get back up right here a little bit. Where's this guy? Come on. Come on, Mr. Light. How are you guys doing this morning? Hope everyone's doing great. As I said, it's 2:45. Um, this is what I do. I enjoy it so much. Yeah. I wonder what the temperature's gonna drop down to while we're driving though. Felt like it was in the low 40s. Not that cold, but yeah. Wow. Guys, this is this is a decent amount. And holding this little camera is probably a lot safer than uh, the big phone even though I like the picture of the big phone better. See what I'm talking about on the bottom left? It looks like there's like, uh, I don't know, uh, kind of like a, a, a fog building up on the camera, which is kind of weird. Anyway, we're gonna go through the village. What is that reflection? Oh, okay, I get it. not coming out too bad in your guys' uh, picture here. Another reason why I just don't, I'm not a huge fan of these GoPros. I just don't feel like they really give you the best quality. Even though everyone swears by them, I swear I don't. I thought they were great, but that's because that's all I heard from everybody else. And when I got one, I was thrilled. It was it was exciting. It was it was an awesome little camera, but it just yeah, unfortunately, it just didn't work out. Okay, so we're in the village right now. Yeah, this is awesome. I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, wow, it's really coming down. I wish this was snow. From my house, just from us being in the car, driving around, the temperature's already dropped down to 47. As I said, it should be about 41, 42 degrees right now. That's what it felt like outside. But we're, uh, 
but that's what my car always does you guys it's always doing that when I leave my house it's it, it the ambient temperature gauge always tells me it's a lot warmer than it actually is outside liar you lying bastard yeah so we're in the village you guys we're the only ones <sighs> Well, isn't that special? Yeah, I need new windshield wipers for show. For show. We stayed here. Oh, we're staying tomorrow night, you guys, at a... Uh Lagunita Lodge. I know a lot of you have wanted me to stay there for a long time, so we're actually staying there. We rented the biggest room that they have available tomorrow night and the following night and the following night uh, for three nights, so uh, we'll see. We'll see what it's like. I'm hoping that the room that I rented is exactly what the pictures show, because it shows that one of the, the pictures, the sliding glass door in one of the rooms that I rented uh, looks out on the lake. Matter of fact, let's just go drive by it real quick. We might as well. We're over here, so we're gonna go into the nicer, the nicer homes over here, guys. Off of Lakeview, that's where the nicer homes and uh, obviously a lot of the lakefront homes are. I guess it's not too obvious. There's Lakeview streets in deserts. guys it's gonna be so much more fun when we got snow all right so here's a place we're gonna be staying soon uh, right here also this is a little less of a I don't know um, I don't want to say this because I'm too tired and I don't want to come out wrong this place right here it's not as classy uh, or maybe no, that's Lakefront Lodge. I, don't, I was like, oh my god, that's where I'm staying. But no, that's Lakefront Lodge. We'll, we'll be staying there soon. That's right on the, on the lake too. It just, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm judging it by some people that used to stay there that were a little bit of troublemakers. And uh, yeah, I just kind of judged that place by them. But I'm going to give it a chance and make a video for all y'all so you can see. Yeah, we're going to a place called Lagunita Lodge. Wow, guys, it's coming down. Pound, pound, coming down. Man, I smell like my grandpa right now. I miss him so much, man. But I smell like him right now. It's kind of weird. So I have no idea where I'm going, honestly. I think it's right here. Like we turn right here, I believe. We gotta maintain being on the lake here, not a through street, all right. Yeah, I think that's it straight ahead. That big white building straight ahead with some lights on. I think that's Lagunita Lodge. I'm looking forward to staying here. I, I, or wait, or maybe that's just a big house, a big house. No, this is this has to be Lagunita. Let me just let me pull in here real quick and see. Yep, Lagunita Lodge. We'll be coming in here tomorrow. Though they have a little shop here too. Very cool. So yeah, we'll be staying here. Wow, it's huge. Holy moly. I never realized it was this big. This was one of the first places I ever went to up here when I moved here. I was working for Domino's delivering pizzas. Look at this place. Oh my gosh, it goes way down there. We're gonna take better views tomorrow. Or we'll do a better video tomorrow. But okay, I can see why this place, uh, wow. I didn't think it would be having this many people on a weekday. It's very interesting, but it's right on the lake, you guys. So uh, yeah, we are, we are very, very excited about this. 
Lagunita Lodge, baby. Lagunita Lodge. As I said, I got the biggest room they have available. I'm hoping it works out for us. It was a smoking rate. I just couldn't couldn't believe it. And I got a new credit card in the mail. I'm trying to build up my credit. Um, because it's hard to get loans when you don't show that much income. So what I'm trying to do is just get as, as many credit cards as I can out there with as much credit without it being used. So just have a bunch of freaking credit cards with the maximum limit still available. I'm not gonna max out or even spend on the cards at all. The whole point is just to have a lot of credit out there without much of it being used, if, if any of it. And then over time, I'll be good. I got my score to jump just in six months, 270 points. And I can explain to you guys how I manipulated that if, if anyone wants to learn how. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty simple process. It takes a little, a little bit of time, but it's so simple. Um, it's so simple. So if anybody wants to learn, we'll let help you out. But yeah, <clears throat> we're driving along the lake right now, folks. Oh, look at this property. Wow, look at this. Viking Estates. That looks like another hotel. And it looks beautiful. I think we need to stay there, too. Holy moly, I never knew that place existed. Guys, this is a small town, so I feel pretty pathetic. Oh, my gosh. I have a message for all you trees out here. You better... Uh, you know, just be excited that this is rain because the snow is coming, Mr. and Mrs. Tree. Tree, 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 that's my little one. Tree, 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 that's my little one. Tree, 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 that's my little Tree, tree, that's mine. Tree, 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 that's mine. I don't want tree. lake over here to the right it's pretty crazy guys there's some parts of this town where uh, when I'm driving deep into some of the neighborhoods and, uh, and, and when I say deep like there's no real deep neighborhood here but when you're going like down inside one of these uh, bigger neighborhoods in, in Big Bear sometimes I get into areas that I've never been before and then I get totally turned around I'll be looking at the lake and I'm thinking how the hell am I looking at the lake when the lake should be to the left and behind us like it's it's so cool living up here for this long drive like as I said my jobs up here have been driving that's like all I've been doing up here is just driving jobs and then my YouTube channel so or our YouTube channel so yeah it's <laughs> uh, yeah I don't know what my point was but that happens a lot but yeah, guys, we're going to be getting some snow here soon. I'm really, really, really stoked about that. Um, in terms of, of timing, we did have a couple enthusiastic, um, optimistic people who left me messages on, on our channel here. You guys should check the, mess check the messages out, the comments, because quite a few people think it's supposed to snow a little bit on Thursday into Friday. And uh, man, I hope, hope you guys are right. I hope you guys are right. Alright, so now we're back on Big Red Boulevard. Look at this guy jogging in the middle of the night or doing something. Okay, at 3 in the morning, in the rain. You're either a jogger or a crackhead. One of the two. I'm leaning towards the ladder because of Big Bear, but... Well, actually, it's probably a jogger. We have equal amount of both. But the reason why it's, it's probably a jogger is because, you guys, this is, this is one of the world's capitals for combat sports folks to come up and uh, do their training camps and stuff like that because of the elevation. And, uh, yeah, so that's... That's why it doesn't surprise me. I'd see people running in the snow, you guys, like like 
five in the morning with like two feet of snow outside just like a group of guys who just look like if you look at them wrong they'll snap your neck in half so I kind of figured they're probably uh, fighters and that's a pretty cool thing about Big Bear we get a bunch of fighters up here a bunch of really famous ones too like I've met a lot of people up here I've met a lot of people up here I met Kimbo Slice before he died I met Kimbo's son um, I met uh, um, gosh what's his name um, AJ McKee I was a huge fan of his dad Antonio McKee who fought in the UFC for a while AJ is like just some superstar youngster um, and I think he fought in, in WEC or yeah with the with the Pitbull brothers but uh yeah man I'm uh, we've had Ronda Rousey up here Conor McGregor up here Tito Ortiz had a gym and a house up here uh, Oscar De La Hoya still has a place up here um, God, what's his name uh, super famous boxer um, man why am I spacing his name but anyway he's up here triple Z if that's his name or like triple X or like something um, let's see who else Tony Ferguson has a house up here he's he's one of my old friends best friends and so when he came up here right after he won the, the interim belt my old friend was with him and he was sending me pictures of, of, of him wearing the belt he was wearing Tony's belt he used to train Tony down in Huntington Beach. Um, I've seen Chemo up here. Um, let's see. I saw Misha Tate up here. She's so hot. Um, gosh, I'm telling you guys, man, I've seen a bunch of freaking people. Um, I've seen the Phenom, Vitor Belfort up here. Um, let's see. Yeah, just, just, uh, a ton of names, a ton of names. Incredible fighters, the best in the world, come up here to train. It's unbelievable. And they come up here because of this YouTube channel. They're like, you know what, we gotta go train there because of that guy. Big Bear Weather and more, there's no other place we'd rather train. We don't care if it's low elevation or high elevation. As long as Big Bear Weather and more is there protecting us, we're good. And that's what they say all the time. I'm sure you guys have heard it on the news and stuff. We're always talking about me. It's amazing. Yeah, I wish. I wish. But you know what's cool is that I guarantee you at least one of them has probably seen one of my videos and that makes me feel feel good. Because I know a lot of them like to snowboard and stuff like that and just do like uh, really kind of scary sports, scary things, uh, risky activities. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping maybe you know, if they were wondering about the drive up here, you know, typed in something on Google and then saw my video and popped it on. That would be pretty cool. I can't remember who it was. There's been one famous person and I can't remember who it was. Um, wow, that's so sad. But there was a, a, a famous person who, uh, um, at least everything led to led me to believe it that they were grateful for what I'm doing and with all their work. Oh yeah, that's right. There was some Amazon movie being made up here and this person uh, contacted me for some other reason and they were, they were telling me they were super nervous about coming up here because of the weather, even though it's their job to act and they go wherever they're told. Uh, he was super cool. And I guess he was really famous, and I, I didn't know. Afterwards, I, I checked him out. Afterwards, I checked him out. Um, I went online, and I'm like, oh my god. This guy has been in quite a few things, but yeah. Um, I've, I've had a pro boxer uh, need something from me. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. Yeah, you guys. I don't, I don't know why that stuff kind of kind of gets me going. I'm a bit of a fanboy when it comes to stuff like that. But you know what? To each their own. I 
don't know why I get so excited about certain famous people. I just really do. Not actors. Honestly. Not actors at all. But sports figures. Maybe if I saw like Adam Sandler or like something, yeah, I'd be tr I'd be tripping out a little bit. But anyway, guys, how you guys doing? It's 307. Temperature hasn't dropped anymore. Thought it would, but it's still 47. 47. With 110 miles till empty. Hey, do you guys like it better in here if I dim the lights? Let's see. Dim, 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 dim. I like that better. We can see outside better, I think. What are you guys thinking? So right now we are on a street called Evergreen. It kind of runs parallel to Moon Ridge. It's, uh, if you're on Moon Ridge Road coming from Big Bear Boulevard towards like Bear Mountain and the zoo, this would be on your right hand side, this road. And there are massive, massive homes on this road. Some of the biggest homes in the whole town are right across from my little shack. My little shack, baby little shack. Oh my dear, but you my little shack. Tin roof! Rusty. <laughs> oh man, this GoPro's getting a little hot in my hand here. A little GoPrizzo. It's a bit hizzo in the handzo. What am I gonna do? Just suck it up, you whiny, whiny little man. Just suck it up. Okay, guys, we're going to stay at Apple's as well, straight ahead. We're going to definitely stay there. Um, I feel like kind of going over towards Bear Mountain real quick. Oh, my gosh. What is this in front of us? We're going to turn right here. We don't want to deal with cars just sitting in the middle of the damn road. That's never a good thing at 3 in the morning. Yeah, that guy was just sitting in the middle of the road. Good thing I wasn't a cop. That was kind of like a sketchy move that guy was pulling. some pretty good rain this past 35 45 minutes it's very nice very nice I'm gonna stick the GoPro out the window for a minute because it's really hot seriously I think there's something wrong with the Why wouldn't it? It would always have to make it worse if I'm dealing with it. Seriously, I hope uh, that part of the camera isn't giving you guys issues. Just hang on a second. I'm going to try and wipe it down again. Real short, but... Lick that damn thing. There we go. Give it a lick. Gave it a licking and it kept on ticking. Oh my gosh. Usually I'm driving down this road this time in the morning when we get some snow. But no. There's no snow. Hey you guys, so... Um, as I told you guys earlier about my credit cards and stuff like that, one thing that I'm, I'm trying to do, if anyone can help me, I would really appreciate it. Let me explain to you what's going on. Um, I'm, I'm trying to buy a bunch of beanies, but like with the Big Bear Weather and More logo on a leather patch. And I want these beanies to be merino wool. So I've been dealing with a company who's not really too responsive. Um, they, they have what I want, but I'm having a hard time getting anything with them. So if anybody knows of any company that does in bulk uh, beanies, not just in acrylic and polyester, but 
in merino wool. Like, guys, basically the stuff you would find at Nordstrom's and Macy's and stuff like that. Like the super high end, like cashmere, silky feeling stuff. Like, but nice and warm. That's what I'm doing for us. We're gonna have, guys, like really, really nice, nice beanies. And depending on how that goes, we'll move on to hoodies and stuff like that. Once again, guys, I don't want my stuff to be like everybody else's. And yes, I want everyone to be able to afford it. I really, really freaking do. Which is because I know it's not gonna be cheap. Like, that's why I'll do some like giveaways and stuff too. I think that would be super cool. Um, yeah, I mean, guys, how genuine is all of this? I've never asked you guys to subscribe or hit the like button, hit the notification bell. It's really, really cool what we got going here, guys. We have something very legitimate, very beautiful, and working together for a common goal is so, so beautiful. I love you guys so much, it's just ridiculous. There's my golf course. It's called uh, Nick Amstetter Lynx. Here's, here's Bear, Bear. It's Bear right now. Bear Mountain is Bear right now. Oh, here's the parking lot. Gosh, it smells like it. it smells like herbs, you guys. Bad right here. Like a big growing operation is right here. I always smell it right here. Seriously, I'm always smelling it right here. If you guys want to know where it's right on Gold Mine, right, right in between the golf course and Bear Mountain, in between the parking lots, right on Gold Mine Road. I don't get it. I just don't get it, guys. It smells so strong and pungent there. But yeah, look, guys, have we, I think we've only passed one car on this whole ride. I think that's kind of crazy cool. But uh, yeah, this guy is a little bit on the tired side over here. Hey, Joey Buttafuoco over here. Joey Buttafuoco over here. No, so anyway, back to the beanies. God, I go off on segment after segment and don't even finish any of them. Um, so if anyone knows of a company where I can get some acrylic or <laughs> merino wool beanies, that would be fantastic. Um, custom ones that are plain so I can have them custom done. Um, man, I would really, really love to help you guys. Um, as I said, these were not cheap. I mean, these were not cheap. Buying 50 at a time or like 100 at a time, you guys, it, it, it was expensive, man. Like expensive. I'd, I'd have to use my credit card that has the most limit on it and I'd still have to use a second credit card to pay for all of them. It's insane. It's like, it's like a few thousand bucks just for 50 of them. But they would be merino wool. Guys, it's really fine, fine wool. It, it'll feel like when you like get into like like thousand thread count or fifteen hundred thread count Egyptian cotton sheets, just beautiful and perfect, and you all deserve it. You all deserve to have this this beautiful fabric draped around your heads, man. I'm 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 telling you guys, you guys will love it. I think it'll be your nicest beanie um, because even though I I've got Gucci beanies and Prada beanies and Louis Vuitton beanies and stuff like that, the real ones, not like fake ones. The ones that are so expensive that I used to buy once in a while. Um, I think these ones will be just as good of quality. But I'm not going to be charging $400. Like, uh, I think they'll be like 60 bucks when I end up selling them. Um, which is like, I think like a, like a, a $20 bump. So that'll help for like channel stuff and, and to order new products and stuff too. So... Um, yeah, it, it's not like it's not like I'm trying to make a profit to like put money in my bank account and stuff. That's 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 definitely not it. If I was like some of the beanies I bought at Nordstrom's back in the day were like 250 bucks, 300 dollars just for a regular, but a really nice quality beanie, name brand of course, like uh, like Versace. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure because I, I'm not even sure how much all these beanies are gonna cost me. I've gotten some quotes, but it's not cheap. The 
my gosh, it's beautiful stuff. And then as I said, we'll do uh, whatchamacallem, uh, hoodies and, and gloves and stuff like that. And then, yeah, man, like, I'd like to, to really come up with some really neat stuff for us because we do have a unique channel, unique people so loving so incredible and I just all right, man like <laughs> I want us to all be wearing like similar stuff and and just I don't know kind of a little soppy sappy little uh, dream but it would be really cool to know that like something I've created in terms of this channel uh, would bring people an, an, enough joy to want to rock clothing but anyway I love you guys. You guys take care of yourselves, all right? And have a great rest of your night. It is 315, 46 degrees, 110 miles till empty. <laughs> and not that that matters, but anyway, love you guys. I love this place. Look at how beautiful this place is. Look at how beautiful these trees are. Just spectacular, man. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, peace out, guys. October 5th, 2021. And we'll be doing a video of the Loganita Lodge today. Peace.